I think he just sniffed me. Don't sniff me. Don't do that. Never do that again. I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. Okay. See you later, fucker. I'm going to push the cart and then the scout is just going to instantly destroy me. Yep. He's so comfortable pushing me with two health. I don't understand scouts, man. Like, they saw the Lazy Purple video and they think like, Oh yeah, I really am the ultimate life form, aren't I? <laughs> Med down. I would I would say like, oh, I wish I got a medic shoved up my ass all game just because I'm using a Saxy. But then I realized, oh wait, I, I specifically tell people not to pocket me. <gasps> mine, 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 mine. No. Fuck. I got it. I got it. Mine. <laughs> yes. It's all mine. Now we gotta get a kill with this thing. <gasps> oh, beans! <laughs> Here we are! You are. <laughs> you fool, I will kill you with your- Oh. He's gone! At least I got, like, a good beans kill with the- with the, uh- <gasps> Wait, there it is! There it is, there it is! I got it back! It's back, boys! Back in my big, meaty hands. Oh, fuck. Got him! <laughs> my donks need to be far more donkular. That's the conclusion that I've come to based on- Oh my- What? You were just up there! How? You spy. Well, that didn't last long. But neither will your life. Once I... Fuck. Got him. <laughs> Too easy. Your backup should have come sooner, bumsickle42. Oh. I didn't even see that. Ooh, sentry's down. Nice. I did that. I killed that. Oh! <laughs> I'm very sorry, Pizza Steve, but you've steved your last pizza. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was really funny, though. <laughs> well, I got their teleporter and I shitty demo night at their scout. Eh. And that is how you get rid of two engineers. Oh yeah, you had to reload there. We're just gonna pretend that this downside doesn't actually matter. No, you have to make quickscope slower. Fly. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Phantom War did some work there. Like, Raid is a huge meme, but ultimately I think it's kind of harmless. Like, it's just a shitty mobile game. Its existence isn't harming anyone except, like, people who easily get sucked into, like, you know, pay-to-win mobile game garbage. And that's literally every mobile game, so, like... You know. As long as people know to be responsible, then, you know, I really don't see the harm. I, too, wonder where Raid gets their money. Oh, they're uh, stationed in Israel. Hopefully that answers all of your questions. I'm pretty sure they're, like, the only... 
like Israeli video game development company in the entire world. The people who make Raid Shadow Legends. For a second, I thought you were going to say it's led by Choose, but it being state-sponsored makes sense. Yeah, that's where I was going with that. <laughs> it definitely wasn't that other thing you said. It's a game that relies on whales. That's literally all mobile games ever. Casual donated $3. It's depressing to realize that, probably, some of our defense money being donated to Israel goes toward developing Raid Shadow Legends. That's kind of hilarious in a really tragic way. The military industrial complex just goes towards fucking Raid Shadow Legends. Came here to play TF2, not debate politics. Too bad. Welcome to a fish stick on a stick stream. Now, back to why 9-11 was an inside job. So it's political compass? Uh, never. You'll, you'll never know where I fall. I constantly change my views depending on who I'm pissing off. You're either a Nazi or a libtard or the most oppressed class of all. A gamer. Not to be political, but chicken tenders are better than wings. Honestly, I completely agree. <laughs> like, I'll be real, I just kind of don't get chicken wings. Like, the meat isn't so much better that I'm just like, oh yeah, I gotta have chicken wings. And it's like, even with the bone being like, you know, something of an inconvenience to eat around. So you don't just eat a mouthful of fucking bone. Like, it's not so much better that's like, oh yeah, totally worth it. It's like, give me the, the bigger quantity of meat from chicken tenders. From, from boneless. Instead of like, it's the bone that makes it good. I, I, I don't understand that line of thinking whatsoever. Burger King, honestly, I like, I, I find Burger King to be as, Jesus. As the kids say, incredibly mid. Like, yeah. These are burgers. They, they sure fucking are. Like, honestly, I, I vastly prefer McDonald's burgers to Burger King burgers. Like, people who say that they prefer Burger King, I honestly don't know how the fuck you do it. Oh, Jesus. Back up. They call it the backup, because when you play Sniper, you better back the fuck up. Those are some good Dragon's Fury shots. I just very fortunately had a medic on me. Incredibles 2 is just mediocre. Oh yeah, it totally is. Like, mediocre, an argument can be made for straight up bad. It's a movie I've had no desire to re-watch. Like, what do I want to go back for? The, the shitty villain that makes no sense? The nonsense plot? Yeah, it felt like a movie that just... Everyone wanted... But everyone wanted it completely differently to how it came out. Like, everyone wanted maybe the kids to be older and off doing their own things. Maybe, like, they have to just... Like, the parents have to end up dealing with... You know, maybe maybe the kids are moving out or just, like... Going through all that shit. You know, that's what people wanted to see from an Incredibles 2. But instead we got, like, oh, what if we did the first movie? But again, Age of Violet. The way you say that makes it sound weird. Like, ah, oh, yes, finally, legal Violet. Like, honestly, I saw the Underminer thing. It's just like, oh, yeah, this is a nice way to sort of imply that their, their, their adventures are continuing. And they're off to go do stuff as a family together. And it's just like, oh, no, they're not actually. No, no, they're, no, they're not. Oh, uh, they're not doing things as a family because they're just saying, hey, kids, stay behind. Don't do anything. What makes a girl boss? Uh, mostly poor writing. It's just like the very corporatized version of a strong female character who has none of the traits of an actually strong character. Oh, fucking Pog Uber. That made me so sad. Yeah, a bitchy, unlikable person who is supposed to be a role model. That's like a girl boss. Like, not a female character who has to, like, struggle or go through any, any changes. Because if they change, then that means they're flawed and that's bad. Because cause women, they, they can't be flawed. That's why Max is a girl boss. It's more like why like Chloe is a girl boss. Max is... Max is more of a self-insert. Like, this is typically something that is popular in... I don't really have a term for this. So I guess female fiction? Where it's just like... Media for women generally likes to have their... 
protagonist be a lot more passive and be dragged around by the plot or just more more active characters than than themselves they, they, they don't like the the main character themselves to be super active and being the one driving the plot they much prefer a passive main character and you can see this even like in media that doesn't necessarily have a female protagonist like take a look at harry potter Harry Potter is a great example of this. Harry is generally a very passive character. He just kind of gets dragged around by the plot or he learns a lot about the plot through a, a complete coincidence. Like he just overhears shit while he's like sleeping or whatever. Usually in the hospital wing for some reason after like a Quidditch match that happens more than once, if I'm not mistaken. So um, Max definitely fits into that category more so than Fuck. More than, like, the active girl boss character. Twilight's another good example. Like, the, the primary example of that that I would probably give, honestly. It's just, like... Yeah, Bella Swan from Twilight is a super passive character. Like, she is meant to be dragged around by, like, Edward and all the... The, the, the love interests. She does not have any will or agency of her own. Like, yeah, Harry eventually gains some autonomy, but, like... It, it takes a very long time. And even then, it's often at the behest of, like, other characters. Like, going off to find the Horcruxes, that's all Dumbledore's shit. Like, obviously, it's something he should do, because stopping the bad guy who wants to be Wizard Hitler is pertinent. It's kind of not really much of a choice, if you know what I mean. Like, hey, Harry, would you like to stop evil people from existing? Yes. But there's not many people who wouldn't, except for all the people who, for some reason, in-universe, wouldn't. Mostly because they're just racists. I again, it's not a great term for, for it. It's just, like, what I've noticed as the type of fiction or media that generally uh, is appealing to women. Or even if it does end up just starring some kind of female protagonist, like, hey, fucking Star Wars sequels, you got Rey. Extremely passive character. That's like her whole character is she's very passive. Would you want to fight Wizard Hitler? I guess it's better than letting Wizard Hitler take over. Like, you can't really make any kind of argument about, like... Like, like you might make it an actual war where... Are these guys even really the bad guys? Like, what are we actually fighting for? It's not like a Vietnam situation. It's a World War II situation. The bad guys are very explicitly bad guys. And Hitler was doing a very good job at getting rid of them. Uh, I'm just waiting for chat to catch up with that one. The Percy Jackson books are better than the movie. Oh yeah, by a long shot. There's like so much shit that the books cut out like a lot of people get hung up on really honestly kind of pointless details like the color of one of the main characters hair it's just like annabeth is described as blonde in the book why do they make her have like brown hair it's like that is so inconsequential compared to all of the other problems that this movie has i feel like the casting is something that it's like it's i guess i really should like, give, give the people who complain about that a bit more credit, because it is something I will complain about, too. Like, in the new Last of Us show, I think that Ellie is completely miscast. Like, the, the, the chick they have playing her is just, like... I don't see her as being super suited for this role. It's just, it's... She's not doing it for me as Ellie. Like, everyone else seems to be doing a fine job, just based on what I've seen. But, like... Yeah... Yeah, Bella Ramsey is not selling me. She seems like a complete miscast. Like, just in terms of, like, not only her physical appearance and looking like Ellie, but just, like, I don't know, the way she comes off is just not quite right? I don't know, it, it's difficult to explain. They, they seem to be doing enough different with the story that I'm like, okay... This, like, justifies its existence without straying so far from the source material that just ends up being, like, fucking Halo or something, where 
Like, it may as well not exist. Donated $2. I can't wait for Last of Us 2 Episode 1. Guys, you can't imagine how I am excited for that episode because it was my favorite part of the game. Also, I hope you get this joke. <laughs> God. Yeah, like, the, the fact that Last of Us 2 is being made is just like... Well, if they're, if they're comfortable making changes to The Last of Us 1 story, you kind of got to hope they're going to be doing the same for the second one. Because, oh good lord. But yeah, like like Shaker is alluding to here, the it almost feels a bit cynical because it's like... Now it's like the writers can be like, oh, you see, we, we are good writers. Because video game writing is just not taken seriously. Rest in peace, Shwepley. Oh, jeez. Hi there. How you going, son? I fucking knew that was gonna happen. No. D so thanks everyone for watching the stream. Alright, let's see what we got. Cool. About what I expected. Got a nat 20, I'm gonna get something good. Hell yeah, let's see it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty good, actually. D yeah, the, yeah, mm-hmm. Well, that's one of the ones I was hoping to get, so, uh... Color me satisfied. Alright. Oh, that's almost, like, perfectly aligned with the top of the scorch shot. Damn. I like that. That's good. That is a good-ass scorch shot. <laughs> Putting off playing the game. Listen, I just want to see how this looks. I like that on the skull cutter a lot, actually. That's cool. Fuck, I just spent like a couple of keys on a <laughs> on a pro skull cutter kit. That is really good. Oh man. If I gotta put it on something, I feel like it's gonna be that. We're making a skull cutter. It looks too nice. I ain't about to pass this up. If it's if it's only fifteen bucks, and honestly, I don't know if it's worth selling. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Uh, there's a bit of uh, there's a bit of a seam on the back, but honestly, back's not the part I'm looking at. Yeah, painted cow manglers are worth more than a burning flames team captain. I believe it. I think I mentioned this on stream that I had a dream that someone just gifted one of those to me, and I didn't realize it at first. Well, I've noticed that there is no blue team. Yeah? Oh my god! A Bloomin! I feel so old! And he's dead. Do I just spend even more money? Do you guys want to fucking watch MVM or something? Because fuck, dude, this sucks. Today just kind of sucks. Maybe we do some MVM Chivo hunting. Pit a hundred bots in Rottenburg. Apparently I've done that six times. As a team, pit ten bots in a single wave in Manhattan. Now, I might be able to do that if I go pyro on Manhattan. And I'm just, like, launching them into the fucking pit. Because there, there are a few times where it's like, oh, the robots are pretty much guaranteed to get a cap here unless, you're, unless your team is, like, on top of their shit. Ugh! Uh. No. Stop. Ahoy, SpongeBob. I've overdosed on ketamine, and I'm going to die. Uh, Dad, what's the password to the Wi-Fi? I already got a Wi-Fi. A Wi-Fi? Hey. I mean, the worst thing that should have happened to it is like, you can't just chat for. 20 seconds at most. Yeah, wow. We haven't even gotten a chance to pit any robots, really. Yeah, my team is too good for me to achievement hunt. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over here and let them, uh... walk their way in. Hi there. You... Have I seen or heard of the Velma finale? Um, is that the part where... Fred's mom or something? is is violently killed oh my god beans beans 
And then Velma twerks over her corpse because she's a rich white woman. Yeah, I feel like if you put game anything in front of some kind of profession, like game journalist, game writer, it's always like... It's like the dentist of doctors, you know what I mean? It's like, this is what I went into because I'm not good enough to be a doctor. I'm, I'm a dentist now. I'm a game, like, writer because I'm not good enough to write for TV or movies and shit. And they end up writing, like, movie games. And the writing is still crap and it's like, oh, this is why you, you can't write for TV. Gamer girl. That's, all, that's also one. Like, you failed at being a regular girl. You have to get by on the gimmick of being a gamer. I have never, I have never seen that much money missed in MVM before. Oh, come on! Oh, come on, don't restart the whole fucking map. No. At least we only missed 70 that time. Scout, look, I'm, I'm switching my weapons. I'm doing the funny. I'm doing the funny. It's not working. My fucking Jedi mind tricks don't work on this guy. Hey, shoot at me. Oh. Shoot me when I'm ready for it. Like that, see? I was ready for it then. Fuck. The scout's on the fucking tank. <laughs> I'm fucking trying, man. Well, good news, the scout is off the tank. Do you see why I like the back burner now? Is it gonna get through? No, it's not, thank god. I was ready to use my fucking teleport to fucking spawn canteen. I don't think I've ever had to use these. But if we're achievement hunting... Then fuck it, like, the teleport back to spawn and kill the enemy within, like, five seconds one? I'm getting it. Bonk. See you later, asshole. Ah, that wasn't within five seconds, I guess. Sad. Or maybe it's gotta be, like, one with the bomb? Oh. <laughs> Aren't we so glad that we restarted because we weren't getting enough money? Now look at us. Look how great we're doing. <laughs> yep. Oh my god. Oh my god. Scout. Fuck. <laughs> so much money. Where are you going? Do you see all the money down there? I don't understand. <laughs> Being nice has gone too far. Taco Bot was right. I can't afford anything. <laughs> oh. Well, good thing I could get some meager resistances with my paltry budget. Oh, to be but a simple pauper. Kill me. 
I think I just extinguished beans with my gas passer. Please, please, please end. Please end. Please end. We did it. <sighs> oh, see you. I hope you get something good at least. Force of nature. Pistol's decent. Holy mackerel. I'm sorry. You deserve better. Okay, we're on Manhattan. Can we go pyro? I feel like pitting 10 robots as a pyro is easy. Yes. Okay, good. We got Beans, we got Spia Chungus, we got MCJD, I know these guys are on my side. Stacking the odds in my favor. I mean, Beans is a, Beans is a bit shaky. Alright guys, I'm gonna pull Soundsmith. Oh god, he's gonna go fucking, wait, a Soundsmith? Don't, don't go Trollger. Don't do it. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Oh. What? Why did I get that one? No, why did I get that one? That's the, like, teleport back to spawn one. Why did I get that? I, I know which achievement that is. That is the one where you fucking, like, use the teleport back to spawn canteen. In order to teleport back to spawn and kill a robot within, like, five seconds. That one's bugged? Bro, and the fucking spy aggro means he's always looking away from me. That's fucked. <laughs> he couldn't look away from the spy. I don't even know. Isn't this like a, a newer anime that's just come out? One of those one of those flavor of the month ones. I I, I said having really enjoyed Bochi the Rock. Or maybe it's just like, is it even flavor of the month or is it like, cause it's seasonal? I don't know. I, I don't know enough about anime to be like, oh, hey, which, which are the ones should I be ashamed of for myself for watching? Like, it's not just, you know, the, the funny meme moments that everyone likes. It's like, there's lots of really impressive animation work going on in Bochi. Like, like the kind of stuff that you really just don't need to do as an animator. Cause a lot of people aren't going to notice like Nijika drumming properly. But they get it right anyway. And like the people who do notice that really appreciate that. And it's like... I, I guess it's the kind of thing that should be expected, right? Especially of like a musical anime. But I don't know. Okay, they capped. Hang on. We have a chance at pitting 10 robots. Okay. I just need to be like right here and launch them in. I will help. Okay. One down. Oh fuck. Fuck. That's two. <laughs> fuck, this is not going well. Fuck! Yeah, fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Yeah! Backburner, I'm telling you. The backburner! Why have flog charge when all can be flogged? Yeah, 50 bucks is chump change compared to 600. Oh my lord. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I got fucking trashed there. Pitted. Oh shit. Okay, that guy's only got a couple hundred health left. Oh, come on. No, please. He- Oh! Fucking spy a chungus, man. Sex! I tried. 
Okay, that's three. Wait, no, is that four? I can't remember. There's, there's so many. Oh, come on. Bro, get in there! Oh no, they've hit at me! They got me! They're damn force of natures. No, the, sol the solution is obvious, Biochungus. Don't you see? Also, Jesus fuck. Don't you see? No! How did three of you get pitted? This guy's awfully light for a big guy. Like I can I can push him around real easy. <laughs> Banana. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five! Come on, we got five in there. Hang on. These little guys. That's at least six. Seven. Come on. Oh, yeah, by a lot. God damn. Come on. One more. There's gotta be like one more left. This guy. This guy right here. It's him. Fuck off. Come on! Come on, you motherfucker! No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Yes! We did it! Yeah! We did it as a team. We did it together. Now let's actually beat the fucking round. Oh my god, look look right up at the top of the fucking skull cutter there. There's a little fish bone. Wait, and there's like a little slash through it. There's a slash going right through the fish. That's a fish stick on a stick. It's a themed... It's a themed war paint. I'm selling this for 500 keys. Well, gamers. We finally reached the end of our journey. Ah. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's freaking go. Let's freaking go, Lois. <laughs> what have we learned? That the chipping in achievement is bullshit. Alright, gamers. Let's see what we get. I got, I got a pain train kit. The final pickle. I got batteries. Fanny Phantom, yep. Skull cutter and amputator. I didn't get shit. That one? Yeah. Open with a key. Open. Yep, you're sure. Yeah. It's crap. What? You, you got crap, Danny. Okay, I want to open another one. Okay, that one. No, not that one. This one. Okay. Oh. Yes. Open, open, open. Oh, you got two items. Cool. Another ticket, because <laughs> we need more. Yay. Next item. Next item. Oh, you got three. Oh, it's strange. Oh. Nice. I did this one. Oh, a strange part. There. Very nice. See, you choose the box, it doesn't work out. I, I would have gotten it eventually. Mm. 